Growing up as a darker skinned girl in India was a character building exercise. Overtly or covertly, the message was my skin color is not ideal. Until today, when I hear loaded words like wheatish or dusky, I, I cringe. For me, it was a little more of a double whammy because my mom and my sister are both very fair and lovely. So the constant comparison was in my face every day. I mean, I'd hear things like, oh, but she's white and you're black, how come? I mean, I've lost track of all the creative answers I've had to that question. My favorite was when the South Indian waxing lady in Singapore said to my sister of me, oh, you know, your sister's not pleasant looking, but she's very sexy. I mean, I understand I had a unibrow till I was 15, but not pleasant looking, that's a little harsh. And this chick was actually browner than I was, but that's how deep the social conditioning was. In Bollywood movies, the heroine is always fair and the vixen or the item number is always dark. So I realized very quickly that if I was gonna have any self-esteem growing up in Asia, I would have to build it myself. And one of those things would be not pinning my self-worth on how people thought I looked. So I started looking at my other gifts my intelligence, my talent, my capacity to love people, my sense of humor. And years later, as I was researching the concept of resilience, particularly in leaders, I learned that this was one of the ways to build resilience, looking at the different pillars of your life, your emotional, spiritual, mental, physical, all the bits and pieces that make you whole. And if one pillar is a little bit weaker, well, then the other ones hold you up and that way you don't collapse. That's resilience. And by the way, whether having darker skin is a weaker pillar is really out for debate. I mean, yes, we're dealing with centuries of conditioning around beauty standards and discrimination based on skin color. But I can tell you from personal experience that there are places in the world where darker skin is the beauty standard. And in a sense, the darker, the better. But here's the kicker. If you don't appreciate the value of your own skin, then none of those other people matter. So let me tell you a few reasons it's great to have dark skin. Number one, we can wear any color. We glow in white and we sizzle in red and we can pull off black and we can pull off navy blue and even this emerald green or whatever the hell it is I'm wearing. Same thing with makeup. Purples, silvers, peaches. The bolder the better, bring it on. The second thing is we truly shine in the sun and we don't burn as easy but sunblock is still important, so don't forget that. And the third thing is darker skin can actually hide some stuff. Stray hairs, blemishes, you can get away without shaving or waxing for a little bit longer. That's always a good perk. Look, beauty standards are changing and that's great. I see dark skin models and actors more and more every day, but they may not be changing fast enough for you to get the external validation that you need. So it comes back to you and your pillars. You are more than just the color of your skin. You are more than your grades at school. You are more than your friends and family. You are the grand sum total of all those beautiful and messy parts. And if you don't embrace each and every, every one of those pieces, who the hell will? So get started now. Mm -hmm.